kiddos. How are you all doing? How is your family? And, and, and mostly, how is your pet? All are doing well? Yes, 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 my dear children. I am asking about pet. Yes, yes, all of you are having pet in your home or not? Yes, mostly all of us are having a lovable pet in our home. Isn't it? Okay, I am also having a pet in my home. Do you want to meet my pet? Yes, all of you are interested to meet my pet? Yes, let me introduce my pet, Aldo. Yes, isn't he cute? He is my pet and his name is Aldo. And my dear kiddos, I am really, really, really very, very fond of my Aldo. You know why? You know why I am very, very fond of Aldo? Because I don't need to do anything special for him. Yes, he, he never, never, never ask a share of anything of mine. He never ask any share of mine. Neither in my food, nor in my juices, nor in my water. Nothing, he never, he will never ask a share. Yes, and, 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 and my dear children, he will never disturb me. Yes, he will never, never disturb me. Either I am meditating or I am playing. He will never come to me or disturb me. Even in, uh, even while I am doing yoga. Yes, while I am breathing and breathe out. He will never come and disturb me. <coughs> yes, he will never come and disturb me. And most important thing, my dear kiddos. There is no need of taking him out for potty. Yes. I don't, I don't need to take him out for potty. That is the most important thing for me. And that's why my dear, my dear kiddos, I'm very, very fond of my Aldo. I'm very fond of my Aldo. He will never disturb me. He will never ask any share of my food, clothes, anything. Yes, see simply he will stay at his place and remains happy and becomes a good listener also. So I love my Aldo. It's yes, strange, na? Strange. I know what you are thinking. A dead toy is my pet. Why? A toy can't be a pet to us. Yeah? You all are having some toys at your home. They are pet to us. Isn't it, girls? Yes or no? You all love playing with your Barbies or not, girls? I love playing with Barbies. You love playing with Barbies or not? Yes, it's a toy. They are dead. They are dead. They are toys. And how can I forget boys? And they are fond for racing car. They are fond for their racing car. They are fond for their bikes. Yes, how can I forget that? They are pet to us. What matters? Even though they are dead, they are non-living. Yes, they are dead. They are non-living. Yes, but they are pet to us. We love them. We love playing with Barbies. We love playing with toys. Yes, so, but, but the thing is that they are dead. Yes, we always think that living things can be pet. That is not the correct way of thinking. Non-living things can also be pet. Living, non-living. Yes, you are getting puzzled. Yes, to solve that puzzle, me Subhashni here to take you into the world of living or non-living. Yes. Today we are going to discuss about dead and alive, living or non-living world of science. Yes, guys, yes, my dear children, I am welcoming you to the living and non-living world of science. Yes, so let's start with the living and non-living world. But, 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 before entering into the chapter, let's play a small game. Are you all interested to play the game? I am very much interested to play the games. Are you all interested? So all of you are going to join me. Yes. So let's begin the living or non-living game. Yes. Can you see the board children? Yes. 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 Can you see the board here? And the pictures, the small, small pictures I have drawn here. You see, I have drawn a small, cute red bird there. Yes. And below it a car. Yes, and a tree, book, and cat. Yes, your pet cat, your pet dog. So these are the pictures I have drawn, drawn here. Okay, 
So the thing is that I have mentioned here some columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have asked some question over there. The first question is, does it move by itself? Yes. Does it grow and change by itself? Does it need air? Does it need food and water? Does it make more of itself? These are some questions. We need to discuss about the things that I have drawn here. Yes, kiddos? We need to answer the questions for these things which I have drawn here, my dear kiddos. Yes? First thing, let's see this beautiful red bird. Yes, let's see this beautiful red bird. The first question for the bird. Yes, the first question for the bird. Does it move by itself? Does birds move or not? Obvious answer, yes. Birds move, fly in the sky. Does it grow and change? Of course. Of course, birds hatches from the egg and grow big in size. Yes or no? Birds can grow. Birds can increase in size. Yes, the answer is yes. The third question I asked is, does the bird needs air? Yes, my dear children, they need air as we need oxygen. We need air to breathe and survive. Birds also need air. Obvious answer, yes. Does it need food and water? Does bird requires food or water or not? Yes, birds also require food and water. Yes or no? Birds also require food. They eat small, small insects, some grains. They eat the food. They also drink the water. Ooh, birds. So what will be the answer? Yes, birds need food and water. The last question. Does it make more of itself? What is make more of itself? Reproduce. Does birds reproduce? Reproduce. Yes, what is reproduce? What is reproduction? What is reproduce? Giving birth to young ones. Yes, cat will give birth to? Give birth to kittens. Dog will give birth to puppies. Giving birth. Making of the same kind. That is reproduce. Giving birth to small, small young ones. That is called as your reproduction. Means making more of itself. Making more dogs. Making more cats. So do birds reproduce or not? Do birds make more of itself or not? Answer. Yes, obviously it's yes. So plants, so your birds can move by itself. Birds needs air. Bird needs food and water. Birds can grow and change in size. And birds also reproduce. So all the answer you see here is yes, 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 yes. Yes. Now, the next thing which I have drawn here. What is the next? A small car. Yes, a small car I have drawn here. Yes. Does it move by itself? Does it? It's the thing is that when you drive the car, it will move. But it will not move by own. Isn't it? Car will move by itself. Is it, is it a magical car? No, no dear kiddos. We, we need to drive the car, then it will move from one place to another place. It can't move by its own. So no, answer is no. It can't move by itself. Yes, what's the second question? Does it grow and change? Have you ever seen a car growing in size? Yes, have you ever seen a car growing uh, small to big in size? Obviously no, I have never seen. Have you ever seen? No. Car never grow in size. Does it need air? Car needs air. No, my dear children. Car doesn't require air. Huh? It requires it requires petrol. It requires diesel or CNG gas. It requires but no air for the survival because it's dead. So there is no need of air for the car. Yes. Next, does it need food and water? Obviously no. It doesn't require your chocolate chips, biscuits, rice, dal, parathas. It doesn't require it. Which one? Your car. It doesn't require it. Does it make more of itself? Does car reproduce it? Have you ever seen a car giving birth to small, small, more cars? No, impossible. 
So the answer is no. So car cannot move by itself. Car cannot grow and change. Car doesn't require air, food and water. And car doesn't make more by itself. Car doesn't reproduce. So the answer is and oh no, a big no for car. Yes. Now another tree. Yes. So another, the next thing which I have drawn here is a beautiful tree, green color tree. Yes, let's, let's ask the same question to the tree. Yes, does it move by itself? Does it move, does the tree moves? No, trees actually, they does not move from one place to another place. They remain stationary, they remain fixed at some place, they remain fixed at one place. Yes, they don't move like we people. But they shows movement. Yes, plants are fixed to a particular position, dear kiddos. They can't walk, they can't run, they can't dance. But they shows the movement how I will let you know in the later part of the class. Yes, how the trees move, I will let you know. But you have to wait and be patient. Yes, so the first of but. Does it move by itself? Yes, because plants also shows movement. How it shows the movement, I will let you know. Yes, then wait up to that. Next, does it grow and change? Obviously, yes. You have seen now small, small seeds. From that small seed, small baby plants come. From that baby plants, it grows into a plant. And from plant to a big huge tree. And the tree becomes old. So definitely. It grows and changes in size. From a small baby plant, it turns into a huge tree. Yes. So, it grows and changes. Which one? Tree. Yes, tree can grow. Tree can change in size. Yes. Now, does it need air? Tree requires air? Yes. Tree requires air, my dear children. How? I will let you know. Trees also, plants also breathe like us. Yes. What is breathing? I have taken in the oxygen. I have given out the carbon dioxide. Inhaling, taking in of the air and giving out of the air is called as breathing. Yes, yes, yes. Plants also needs air and plants also breathe like animals. Yes. Now let's move on to the next question. Does it need food and water? Yes, yes, yes. Plants also requires food and water to grow in size. Yes. And does it make more of itself? Does plants reproduce? Does plants produce their baby ones? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The answer is yes. Plants also reproduce. Plants also give birth to their young ones. Plants make more of itself. So, what is the answer for all these questions in case of trees? A big, big, big yes. Y-E-S. Trees can, trees can move. Trees can breathe. Trees require food and water. Trees require air. Trees also produce more of their kind. Yes. And books. Books can move? No. Books can breathe? No. Yes. Books need food, water, air? No. Yes, book automatically produces its more kind. No, not at all. A big no for books also. Cat. Our pet, here came our pet cat. And for cat, the, all, the answer for all these questions is a big yes. Yes. Cats move. Yes or no? Dogs move. Cow moves. Elephant moves. They all move here and there. They move. Yes, the answer is yes. Cats move, cats require food, cat requires uh, uh, your water, your animals require air. Animals also grow in size, isn't it? And animals also produce more of their kind. I told you, cat give birth to young ones, cat produces kitten, dog produces puppies, cow produces calf. Yes or no? So these are the things we need to discuss in today's class, my dear kiddos. That means, what is the conclusion from this game we got? What is the conclusion? Yes, your bird, where the answer is yes, it is a living thing. Yes, 
tree where the answer for all these question is yes it's a living thing yes where the cat where the answer is yes for cat it's a living thing but when the answer is n o no for your car for your books for your pen your pencil table chair furniture fan when the answer is a big no that is dead that is non living when the answer for all these question is n o no then it is considered as non living thing yes when anything anything which cannot move yes which doesn't require food which doesn't require water which doesn't require air yes which doesn't grow in size which doesn't moves yes and which which, which does not produce more of itself such things are called non living things my dear kiddos they are dead they are non living yes but when the answer for all these question is a yes just like birds trees cats dogs elephant lion human beings we human beings small babies is a big yes then they are considered as living things yes they are alive i am alive i am a living thing the cat is alive cat is a living thing yes so they are all living things when a thing can move from one place to another yes when a thing requires food when a thing requires water when a thing requires air to live to survive yes when a thing produces more of itself yes then such things are called living things understood my dear kiddos yes the things which cannot move the things which cannot breathe the things which cannot eat food the things which doesn't require water the things which doesn't require air the things which doesn't reproduce which doesn't give birth to young ones which the things which doesn't grow inside such things are called what such things are called non living things my dear kiddos such things are called non living things but 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 when a thing can move from one place to another when a thing requires food water and air to survive yes and when a thing produces more of itself such things are called living things they are alive they can speak they can talk they can move they can eat yes such things are called living things understood what are living things what are non living things you have seen number of things around you yes number of things some of them are living some of them are non living go and see your mother is cooking there on the gas something special your mother is a living thing Yes go and see in your garden the plants the plants are living things yes and go and go and play inside your uh, uh, play room number of toys are there they are all non living things your books non living things your pen pencil compass box your school bags bottle tiffin box all 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 these are non living because they cannot move yes fan they cannot move ha huh. unless or until we need to provide an extra push yes whenever if i go and switch on the fan then only the fan will move it cannot move by self yes suppose this is a chair suppose this is a chair will it move from one place to another place without touching i'm not going to touch the chair will it move from one place to another place by its own no does it require food and water no does it require air no does it produces more of its own kind no when i gave an external force when i gave an external force it moves from one place to another place when i switch on the fan the fan runs yes but they can't do it by self so these are all non living things and living things trees birds animals human beings are all living things they breathe air they take food they take they can speak they can move they can grow in size yes they can reproduce they give birth to young ones 
such things are called living things so let's discuss more about living and non living things yes so kiddos let's discuss more about living and non living yes and 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 i told you that non living things cannot move non living things cannot breathe non living things doesn't require food doesn't requires water they can't reproduce it. and these non living things are of two types my dear kiddos yes how many types of non living things are there two types yes you might be wondering now ma'am moon is there so beautiful it also doesn't requires food it also doesn't requires air it doesn't moves it doesn't walk it doesn't talk yes so what is the difference between chair and a moon what is the difference between chair and the sky what is the difference between a book and your uh, stars i will tell you these are all non living things no doubt the stars moon uh, sun table chair book fan all these are non living things but we divided these non living things into two categories yes how many types we divided the non living things dear kiddos two yes we divided the non living things into two types how many types two types how many types of non living things are there two types of non living things are there the first one is your man made non living things can you see my dear kiddos man made non living things yes man made non living things and natural non living things so we divided to make you easy for my dear kiddos we divided the non living things into two types first one man made non living things yes the second one natural non living things what are the two types of non living things man made non living things and natural non living things what are man made non living things that are made by man we only made toys your toys your toys your pencil your books eraser all these are made by man only in factories yes or no so they are non living things the things which are prepared by man yes the things which are prepared by man are non living things are man made non living things your books your paper your pen they are all prepared by they are all made by man they are made by human beings we made them we made your pencil to write we made your books to write on yes we made your toys to play we human beings made we man made so such type of non living things are called man made non living things but you and me didn't made the sun you and me didn't made the moon stars sky clouds they are not made man made they are natural objects so such natural objects are also non living and 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 they are called as they are called as natural non living things my dear kiddos yes so sun your moon your stars your sky the heavenly bodies all 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 are natural non living things yes understood now how many type of non living things are there my dear kiddos two types of non living things are there my dear kiddos what are they what are the two types of non living things first one is your man made non living things that is made by man we only made fan table chair dining table sofa bed door windows man only made so they are man made non living things and the natural objects that appears in our nature sun moon blue, your uh, planets all these are nature natural objects and they are called natural non living object or or natural non living things yes two types of non living things man made non living things that are made by man and natural non living things that are naturally appearing in our in our earth yes so these are the two types of non living things 
Now let's go deep inside the difference between a living thing and a non-living thing. Let us make difference. What is the main difference between a living thing and a non-living thing? We already have a brief idea that living things can move, breathe, they eat food, they require shelter, they require cause. But non-living things does not require all these things. So let's make a quick discussion over the difference between the living and the non-living things. The first special features. Let's discuss the features of living and non-living things. What are the characteristics of living and non-living things? The features of living things and non-living things. Let us differentiate between the living and the non-living things. First one, living things. I have just made the table to make you clear understand. Living things, the green. I have written living things with the green marker. And below with the red marker, I have written the non-living things. So that you can easily understand. Yes, living things denoted with green marker. Non-living things denoted with red marker. So the first characters, the first characteristic features, let's take breathing. And we have discussed non-living things cannot breathe and living things can breathe. So let's first discuss about living things. And what is the first characters we are going to discuss? Breathing. Yes, all animal beings, all human beings, all plants, on this earth breathe. Yes, they are living. They, they require air. They require oxygen. They require carbon dioxide for their survival on this earth. Or else we will become dead. If there is no air, if there is no oxygen, how can we breathe? We cannot breathe. We will become dead. We will become non-living thing at that time. Yes, so first breathing. What is the first characteristic we need to discuss? Breathing. What is the first characteristic we need to discuss? Breathing. Let's see. What about in case of living things and what in case of your non-living things? Breathing. All animals breathe. Human beings breathe. Plants breathe. We human beings, we animals, yes, we human beings, all the animals, cow, dog, cheetah, monkey, birds, all take in, all take in oxygen. Oxygen is a gas which is present in the air. We take in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. Yes, all the animals on this earth, they take in oxygen and gives out, gives out carbon dioxide. All the animals and human beings. They take in oxygen through nose. Through which we take the uh, air. We take the oxygen through nose. We take in oxygen through our nose and gives out and breathe out carbon dioxide through our nose. We require nose. We require lungs. Yes, we require nose. We require lungs to breathe in. We require a mouth to breathe in. Yes, so human beings. Remember my dear kiddos, we human beings, babies, girls, boys, every human beings, every animals on this earth, they breathe in oxygen. They breathe in oxygen and they give out carbon dioxide. They give out carbon dioxide. Yes, all the animals and human beings breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide for their survival. But what about plants? They don't have a nose. They don't have lungs. They are just fixed in a position. Then how do they breathe? How do they breathe? They also breathe. I told you plants are living things and they also breathe. But what do they breathe? How do they breathe? They breathe carbon dioxide. Don't mistake my dear children. They breathe in carbon dioxide. And gives out oxygen. Yes, it's it's a different in case of plants. We take in, we take in what I told? Oxygen. We human beings, we animals take in oxygen. And gives out carbon dioxide. But plants, they take in carbon dioxide. Reverse. 
total opposite yes they take in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen yes but where are their nose you will ask me where are the nose ma'am in plants have you seen the leaves yes have you seen the leaves of the plant yes i have some leaves here see so this is the leaf of the plant and plants breathe through stomata yes plants breathe through stomata s t o m a t a what is the nose of your plants stomata and where is stomata present stomata are present inside the leaves it's not visible to us when you will take a microscope or a magnifying lens then only you can see the stomata how is the stomata we have holes here yes in the same way stomata has got small small pores that is not visible to our eyes they have got small small pores on the leaves and that pores are called stomata and through that stomata the plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen yes my dear kiddos i hope you understood plants breathe out what what is plants breathe in first okay plants breathe in carbon dioxide once again plants breathe in carbon dioxide plants breathe out oxygen what is the nose of the plants stomata yes what is the nose of the plant what is the through which you they breathe stomata yes plants breathe through stomata plants breathe through stomata where are stomata present i showed you stomata are the small holes stomata are the small presents uh, holes or pores which are present on the leaves that we can't see in our open eye we need a microscope to see yes so plants breathe through stomata which are small holes or small pores which are present on the leaves and they breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen but human beings and animals and birds and your uh, aquatic animals water fishes they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide we breathe through nose we require the lungs yes inside our body inside our chest lungs are there that takes the oxygen inside our body so we we breathe in through nose we require lungs to breathe in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide fishes how do they breathe have you seen the nose of fishes i didn't see i didn't see the nose fishes which lives in water they breathe in through their gills have you ever seen your mother cutting fish at that time you can observe the gills they are gills they are red in color fishes breathe through gills plants breathe through stomata human beings breathe through nose and lungs and sometimes your frog yes frogs has also got lungs and they also breathe through moist skin through skin also they breathe understood so all living uh, things breathe plants breathe through stomata stomata present on the leaves of the plant human beings and animals breathe through nose and lungs yes your fishes breathe through gills yes and frogs they requires the skin moist skin to breathe but have you seen a non living thing breathing have you seen seen your books breathe in and read out no exactly no yes so your pen your eraser your book your table fan doors windows they never breathe in and breathe out so so that's why we are calling them as non living things that's why we are calling them as the dead yes so we are clear about breathing living things can breathe non living things cannot breathe yes now the next characteristic life cycle so what is in case of life cycle of living things and what is in case of life cycle of non living things non living things we know we know they don't have a life cycle yes but living things let's move on to living things first let's discuss the next characteristic features life cycle yes life cycle the next characteristic feature is life cycles so first let's see living things of course we have a life cycle animals have a life cycle yeah when you were a baby you were this much of size 
when you were small tiny months baby you were so 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 tiny and small in size now that you have become a kid you have become a child you have grown up you have grown in size huh yes or no so uh, from a baby you become a child from child to a boy you will again change from a boy to a young man and from a young man from a young man to young man to an adult man and from an adult man to an old man this is the life cycle of human beings same with the girls a baby girl baby girl to a, ch a child from a child to a young girl a teenage girl from a teenage girl to a young girl young girl to a yes adult woman from an adult woman to an old woman this is the life cycle of human beings yes we grow in size or not yes we were a baby i was a small baby when i was when when i was in months yes then i grow and grow to become a child then i come to a stage of teenage then to a young girl now become an adult woman and finally one day will come i will become old so this is the life cycle of human beings same with your cat yes cat is small puppy is there puppy will become a cat sorry puppy will become a dog yes puppy will become a dog and finally an old dog yes your kitten will become a cat yes and cat will finally become get old same with plants also seeds seeds germinate yes seeds will grow and become a baby plant baby plant to a young plant young plant to a big tree and finally tree to a old tree and finally a time will come everyone has to die yes or no so this is what the life cycle of living things living things undergo the life cycle but 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 have you seen your pencil growing in size inside your compass box yes you have uh, kept some pencil eraser or pen inside your compass box after one month have you ever seen them increasing in size or growing in size not at all how come it's possible they are not living they are dead so living things only have life cycle yes they grow in size they change from baby to kids kids to child child to young young to old and finally dead same with the plants the plants change from seed to baby plant baby plant to a big plant big plant to a tree tree to a huge tree huge tree and finally a old tree and a day will come it will dead yes so this is the life cycle of living things means living things undergo the process of life cycle but non living things cannot they are dead they can't yes i have never seen a fan uh, wings growing in size yes so they are non living things they don't have uh, what they don't have the life cycle so we are clear about breathing we are clear about life cycle now let's move on to the next characteristics feel and response yes it's a very interesting characteristic let's see how do living things feel and respond and how what about non living things feel and response we response or no we feel you have feelings or no you feel or response to some uh, uh, to the change in environment whenever you feel cold you put on a sweater or a coat or a jacket whenever you feel very hot you switch on the fans and acs we so response to the environment yes or no we so response to the environment yes with the help of with the help of our sense organs we have got five interesting sense organs sense organs eyes ear nose mouth tongue skin all these are sense organs of our body and they respond to the change in environment yes or no we feel cold yes when there is a change in the when the winter season comes we feel cold we put on the sweater when summer season comes we feel very hot terribly hot we switch on the cooler acs and fans we drink lots of juices isn't it we feel uh, we so response to the environment yes or no animals also so response to the environment yes whenever there is shortage of food or whenever there is extremely cold in in cold places in arctic in your antarctic places where there is everywhere there is snow ice the birds there the animals there yes the birds they so respond and they move from one, that place to another place yes a number of birds a number of animals migrate migrate means 
moving from one place to another place number of birds animals they unable to tolerate the temperature unable to tolerate the climatic conditions and they migrate from they move from one place to another place yes they move from one place to another they also show response yes yes whenever you are going to hit a dog with a rock rock or a stone it runs away or not it shows response yes or no so all the living things shows response whenever you, you are go, going to kitchen and your mom is preparing delicious maggi for you and you are not going to wait anymore without knowing your mother you are going to touch the utensil uh, in which maggi is there what happens what happens suddenly you removes your hand or not when touching a hot object you suddenly removes your hand or not you shows response your skin shows response you you responds to the heat you respond your skin respond to the heat you suddenly removes your hand when you touch a hot hot object yes our skin shows response yes you your tongue shows response you can easily uh, taste taste the sweetness you can detect the sweetness of chocolate you can detect the sourness of bitter gourd yes your tongue can detect the salty taste you can tongue can detect the sweetness taste your tongue is there we show we sense we show feel we show response we show response to delicious biryani our smell the uh, the smell of biryani goes into our nose we show response to it yes or no when uh, everywhere there is a, a nice aroma is there yes our smell shows response we smell it we feel it we enjoy it so we shows response so we through which through our sense organs we shows response yes i told you animals and birds also response to the change in climatic condition they also migrate from one place to another place plants also plants also shows response yes plants also shows response you have seen 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 a plants they shed their leaves they shed their leaves uh, during your autumn season and and they uh, they bear rows of flower during your spring season that is response they respond to the climate during autumn season they all the leaves of all the leaves of the plant shed off falls from the tree and during spring season new flowers blooms that is the response to environment sunflower this yellow yellow sunflower the sunflower shows response to the sun it moves in the direction of the sun wherever the sun moves the sunflower also moves in that direction so it shows response but have you ever seen response shown by your computer yes have you have you ever seen have you ever seen clothes crying have you ever uh, seen your books crying no when have you ever seen your utensils crying when we wash them have you ever seen your clothes sopping and crying when we wash them no not at all they don't have sense organs they don't feel they are dead they are non living things that means we are clear that living things shows response to the environment but non living things they don't show any kind of response yes next move on to food and water we all we all living things requires food and water yes we and we human beings and animals depends depends on depends on plants for food because plants only prepare their own food that too by the process called photosynthesis we don't prepare food we only take food from plants cook them at home and eat for our survival but we don't we don't have that ability to prepare your own food we don't have ability to produce apples we don't have an ability to produce vegetables or rice or wheat plants has that type ability we only depends we animals and human beings only depends on plants for food because plants only prepare food and that too by a process called photosynthesis what is photosynthesis you must be wondering what is photosynthesis actually it's a process where the leaves of the plant listen to me very carefully my dear children so photosynthesis is a process where the leaves of the plant prepare the food yes the leaves of the plant prepare the food by ta taking your sun 
Yes, by taking the light energy, by taking carbon dioxide from the air and by taking water and minerals from the soil. Yes, they require light. The plants require light. Plants require carbon dioxide. And, sorry, plant requires uh, your oxygen. Yes, plants, uh, sorry, plants require carbon dioxide and your plants require water and minerals for preparing the food. Yes or no? And that process is called photosynthesis, my dear children. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the preparation of food by the plants by using sunlight, water and minerals and carbon dioxide to prepare the food. And we take the food from the plants. Animals take the food for plants. And plants itself can use its own food. What is that process called? Photosynthesis. Where does it take place? Where does it take place? Leaves. Understood? You will ask me one question. Ma'am, how will they take the carbon dioxide? How will they take the Stomata. I told you leaves has got small pores. That is called stomata. Yes. Plants takes the carbon dioxide from the air through the stomata. Plants takes the sunlight and a pigment is present that is called chloroplast is there inside the leaf. And where your food production takes place that is called photosynthesis. So we all depends on food. We all depends on plants for food and food is the ultimate necessity for the survival of animals on this earth. Everyone depends on food for their survival. Yes, so all living things requires food and water for their survival. But have you ever seen your computer, your laptop, your TV asking you for food? Yes, Rohan, give me some food. Have you ever seen your computer asking like that? Yes, Neha, give me some food. Have you seen ever your uh, laptop asking food for? No, they are dead. They are non-living things. They don't require food and water. Yes. So the next characteristic also we are clear. Now let's move on to the last characteristic that is movement. Of course living things shows movement. Yes, your animals, we human beings, we move from one place to another food in search of food, in search of water, in search of center. We move, we can easily move, we can easily dance. Yes or no, we can easily move. Animals can dance, we can move. Yes, and and the animals move, move to protect themselves from animals, from, from their enemies. Yes or no? Yes. The deer runs away when seeing the uh, lion. Yes or no? It shows movement. Yes. To protect from the enemies in search of food, in search of center, animals and human beings shows the movement. Yes or no? We move from one another, one place to another. We play, we dance. Yes or no? We shows the movement. Same way animals shows the movement. Fishes move inside the water. Yes or no? Birds fly in the sky. They all shows movement. But non-living don't. But I told you, I will let you know, even though plants remain fixed, plants is stationary, remains fixed in a particular position, they shows movement. Yes or no? I told you I will clear this thing. Yes or no? Even though Plants remain fixed in a particular position. They shows movement. How? How? You have seen the stem, the babe, from the baby plant, the stem growing upward towards sun. You have seen roots growing towards the soil. This is the movement. Yes. Yes or no? You have seen the stem growing. You have seen the roots growing downwards. Yes, you have uh, seen uh, what? The petals, the opening of the petals of a flower. Yes, yes or no? You have seen the climbers. Yes, the climbers moving around the support. That is movement. Yes. And you have you ever seen the touch me not plant? Whenever you are going to touch the leaves of touch me not plant, they will fold their leaves. That is movement. So that means... Plants also shows the movement even even though they are fixed in a particular position. Yes, plants shows movement even though they are fixed in a particular position. Your, um, your touch me not plant, they close their leaves when we are going to touch it. Go and test it my dear kiddos, it's very interesting. They will suddenly fold their leaves. Yes, Plants grows their stem towards upwards. The roots grows downwards. The opening of the petals. What are these? These are movement. Sunflower. 
moving in the direction of the sun these are all movements so living things shows movement we can so we shows movement animal shows movement yes but have you ever seen your school bag coming to you coming towards you not exactly have you uh, i have never seen my aldo my pet coming near me no i have never seen i have to go near my aldo yes so they don't they don't move this table this uh, your table chair all these things do not move yes until and unless i give an external pressure external force they don't move unless and until i am switching on the fan the fan will not move so all non living things will not move only living things can move i hope my dear 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 kiddos you came to know about what is the living world and what is the non living world let me let's have a quick summarize over the living and non living things living things can living things can move living things can breathe yes living thing can living things move living things can breathe living things can da uh, dance living thing can walk living things can talk yes living things breathe living things requires food living things require water living things require air yes or no so these when such things are observed in a thing they are called living but non living things they don't breathe they don't require food they don't require water they don't require air they don't show any kind of movement so hence you can easily identify now which are the living things and which are the non living things hope 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 my dear kiddos you enjoyed the class yes now you go and rock the living and non living world with your toys books and pen and pencils meet you soon